Hey everybody, welcome into this Photoshop tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. I want to talk about gradient maps today and how you can use them to color grade your images. I have a photo here that I shot uh, of a friend of mine, Alex. She's actually a model from France. Uh, we were out a couple winters ago. It was freezing cold. It was like negative 17 degrees here on, on uh, the shore of Staten Island. There is lower Manhattan right over there. Um, in fact, I'll link up her Instagram down in the description so you can check it out. But we're going to color grade this image using gradient maps. It was one of the first techniques I ever learned and it's still one of my favorites. There's a lot you can do. It's super powerful and it's pretty easy too. Um, now before we jump into it, I want to share with you guys, I've got two tutorial bundles that I'm selling now that I've just taken like the best of the best of my tutorials and bundled them up. Uh, one is an advanced Photoshop bundle. The other one is a how to retouch bundle. You can go check them out. There's two annotations that are on the screen right now. You can check them out. You can pick one up. You support Tutvid, all this content that I'm pushing out day after day after day. That'd be super cool if you'd pick that up. You get to download the videos, keep them forever. Um, and I'm going to include the PS PSDs where I either have them or I'm allowed to share the raw images, PSDs, etc. So you have all that kind of stuff that will come along with it. So that'll be cool. Anyway, back to the gradient map. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. You can always go image adjustments, gradient map, but as you probably know, I don't like to just use these straight adjustments on uh, my images. I prefer to use adjustment layers. So layer new adjustment layer and sure enough right there, gradient map. Uh, we can just say okay for the name. Now, we can see what's happening here is this gradient is being, as the name would suggest, mapped to our image. The darkest part of the image is being uh, colorized with the very left-hand side of our gradient bar, and the lightest part of our image is being colored by the uh, the other side of our gradient. Now, let's say you came into here and you had like the normal black to white, but it was actually like this black to white, right? So when you create the gradient map, it looks like a, a, a negative. There's this little reverse button. You can always hit that and very quickly reverse your gradients. That's just a nice little tip to know. And that's kind of a nice little black and white uh, with the black and white. Um, but what I like to do is I like to edit this. And actually, I'm going to unreverse this just so we can look at the gradient sort of the proper way. Over here are the dark pixels. Um, we're going to just set up like what I consider kind of like a classic color grade. Uh, it just makes your image like warm and moody. And it was one of the very first color grades that I worked with. So we're going to double click that color stop. And we're going to go up here to like bluish purplish color and I'm gonna choose a very dark mid saturated blue purple color maybe a little bit darker maybe a little less saturated than that okay and you can see that's being mapped to all the dark parts of our image because remember here alongside our face where it's like pitch black that's actually the highlight in the image sure enough over here pitch black we're gonna replace that pitch black with a very light creamy almost buttery yellow color all right, we can see right now our image all of a sudden looks pretty normal again because we've got light color going where the highlights are and a darker color where the shadows are. Hey, who would have guessed? Um, so we've got this really light sort of creamy yellow. Maybe I'll add a little bit more yellow to it. Hit OK and then hit OK for the gradient editor. I'm going to close the properties panel here and what we can do is just with that adjustment layer selected, set the blend mode to something like soft light. So if we shut this off, we can see there's before, there's after. So what's happened here is the, the gradient map has introduced a ton of contrast, number one, but it's also introduced a bunch of new color. Now, it really hasn't done a huge amount to change the color of the image per se, but there definitely is a lot more magenta in these middle and shadow tones of the image. If I hit Command or Control J to duplicate the gradient map, we double up our effect, and now we really have a very different color uh, for our image. A couple things we could do here. We could go in and make the purple just less dark. So if we went into the gradient map, then we'd have to edit our gradient. Then we have to go here or double click on the color stop, go to brightness and like crank just the brightness up because we just obviously don't want our image to be this contrasty. All right. And then the same thing I could go over here to the yellows and maybe make it less bright. Again, trying to kill off contrast. Or we can do what I normally do. See, when I know that I'm going to apply a gradient map to an image, I almost always be begin with either a brightness contrast layer or a levels or curves, whatever I feel like. We'll just go with brightness contrast for the sake of keeping it simple. I'll, I'll add the brightness contrast layer and I will preemptively reduce contrast with negative 40, negative 50, something like that. So then when I add my gradient map, pretty much all it's going to do is change the color. It just kind of meshes right in. If we see we take that stuff away, it doesn't really look like the contrast of our image has changed, just color of our image has changed. And sure enough, now if we duplicate that uh, gradient map, now it, it is still too severe, but we can always tone back the opacity a little bit. So we just kind of pump up the power of the gradient map, uh, but we haven't really uh, affected the contrast of the image all that much. Now, granted, this image does need more contrast, um, 
but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the gradient map, and a lot of times you're going to do your color toning after you've made a lot of those kind of contrast and tonal adjustments, and if you're going to go and it's going to mess up all of your contrast all of a sudden, that's kind of a big issue. So I like to begin with the brightness contrast adjustment layer and then add a gradient map afterward, and what you can do is as you find color uh, you know, from like this color to that color that really work well with images that you'd use, go ahead and hit the new button. Save it as a swatch. You can see here I've got like this dark brownish green color going to a very light beige color and that's kind of like this very brown uh, gradient map. This is a very blue gradient map, you know, and so on and so forth. Have fun with it. There's so much you can do with the gradient map tool and using it to color grade one of the more fun things that you can do uh, with the gradient map adjustment layer in Photoshop. So for the gradient map adjustment layer and color grading in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodds and Tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.